So, Old Dominion. I went in and I uh, told my terminal manager I was I was I wouldn't say nervous, but you know, put in your notice and leaving a job. Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's easy. This wasn't so easy because Old Dominion didn't do anything to me. And I wanted to retire there, to be honest. I don't like to job jump. You know, my last job, I worked 16 years in IT. Before that, you know, a couple years. Uh, I get into all my old employment, but I've done a lot of different things. And, you know, I thought for sure from, you know, talking to some other people that as soon as I put my notice in, you know, they were going to be walking me out the door. I had my ID ready, my keys, everything to give to my terminal manager. Basically, I went in there because it's an open door policy. And uh, her name was Kelly. Great, great manager. I tell you, I, I, I praise her. I tell her, you know, she's great. She's a nice person. She does. She's a by the book, but she's very nice. Um, I said, uh, Kelly, I, I need to leave Old Dominion. And she says, why? And I told her, I said, I'm, you know, gonna go work somewhere else because you know teaming is really affecting me physically and uh it was it was a physical affecting me physically i don't know if you know what thrush is if you don't look it up google it okay um basically the stress when i started driving team it didn't matter i could be off for a week or two weeks and i was great if i ran solo i was great but as soon as I got in that team truck, it didn't matter who I was with, um, I get like these sores in my mouth, like canker sores, you know? My beak is disgusting, sorry. But that's the type of stress that the team driving there caused me. I don't know if it was the team trucks or just the stress from being away from home, but I noticed it starting to happen. I worked there for three years. And I just. You know, I was looking at different medicines that I was taking, allergy medicine, prescription medicine, trying to eliminate things. And what I came up with is it was the team driving environment. So um, if you notice anything weird about your health and stuff, if you decide to go and do team driving, you know, look at the, the team portion of it. Yeah, that's all I can say. But anyhow, I uh, gave him a notice. And uh, I told her, I said, you, you're probably going to walk me out the door when I tell you. She goes, why? I said, Cause I'm going to Estes. She goes, oh, it's not like that. And I said, oh, okay. You know, and I had my ID, my keys and everything ready for her. And she said for me to give it to another girl in there that, uh, you know, they, they have a, uh, you know, a process. There's, you know, Kelly, who's a terminal manager. Then, you know, she has another manager under her and then that person works for that manager yada 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 so you know she follows a book like i said so i went and you know it's not like people don't quit all the time there they're used to it it's a trucking company people come and they go and um you know it wasn't a bad experience i was guess maybe hoping for a little more like well we're gonna be sorry to see you go uh are you sure you want to go what can we do to maybe make you stay because you work your ass off <laughs> no i didn't get any of that again it's trucking you know there's a trucking shortage and they're gonna find drivers there's somebody there to replace me i am thankful to old dominion for putting me through the driver training program with them getting me well i got my cdl but you know giving me the tools to obtain my cdl giving me the training over the last three years uh, my former co-drivers because you feed off of each other as a co-driver just all the opportunities that they gave me i am really thankful for but the reason i am going to estes is i want to run solo because i'm healthier solo it's going to be a further drive it's 18 miles to this terminal once this new terminal is completed i have to drive 38 miles right now uh but once the new terminal is completed, it'll be 18 miles. And I can run single. I'm not sure right now. My next video, I'll tell you. Because if I would have came here in December uh, or January, I would have for sure uh, got a scheduled bid run or a scheduled run. And I'll get into those later. If you watch uh, Freight Hauler 87's videos, he breaks down the different types of uh, positions here. So I believe right now... 
I will be going in and I'll be an extra board driver. And essentially what that is, is uh, I might start on a Tuesday and I'll go out for five days. I'll stay in a hotel every night. I'll drive as far as I can get with the freight at each terminal. And then I'll bounce onto the next terminal. And then I'll start working my way back midweek. You know, I may go out a little further again and then come back home. I will know the days that I'm gonna be off every week, which I'm a kind of person I like to, you know, know what the hell's going on. And at Old Dominion, you know, when you drive in team, in the busy season, you're out six days. And it doesn't go one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you leave on Sunday, you go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're coming back on Saturday. That's six days. They don't count the day that you leave for whatever reason. All trucking companies are like that, I guess. I believe Estes is the same way. But at least I'll be running solo with Estes and I'll know where I'm going for the most part. You know, if they start me out running the Northeast, I'm probably not going to be very happy and I will probably balk at it. I'd rather run either the Southeast uh, or the Southwest, you know, El Paso, Phoenix, uh, stuff like that. Those are good runs out there. It's good miles. I'd like to stay from, away from the Northwest. I don't really like doing any Salt Lake City, uh, Omaha, St. Louis, stuff like that. But I'm going to be the new guy. I know those areas because I've run them with Old Dominion in the team environment. Running solo, single is a little bit different. I can only go as far as my clock will allow me. And we'll get into that later in other videos if this channel you know, continues to go on and you like the content and information that I give you. Uh, I'm going to keep it real with you. I uh, don't, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it or anything like that. Trucking's hard. It's hard. And that was one of the reasons I came to trucking. Because my last job before trucking was in information technology. That was a hard job mentally. And it turned out to be physically too, because uh, whether you realize it or not, you use your brain a lot, your mind, your knowledge, uh, you know, you need, it feeds off your body. You know, everything works together. So I wanted something more physical, you know, picking stuff up and stuff, and you get to do that, you know, moving dollies and uh, hooking dollies up and landing gear in and out of the truck. Not so much as a team driver, because, you know, you're sleeping in a tin can in the back while the other driver's driving. You get up, he's sleeping in a tin can, and then you're driving. Yeah, there's people looking at me like I'm crazy talking and driving. But I won't be talking and driving uh, in my work vehicle. I don't know how Estes feels about it, and I'm sure the DOT and uh, FMCSA frown upon that. But I'd like to bring you guys some content. I don't want to be challenging any of the other drivers out there that make videos and work for Estes. Uh, I just like to give some LTL, lesson truckload information, trucking information, uh, whatever I can give and give you some insight onto my days and, you know, let's go from there. I'm unscripted. Most of the guys out here do this stuff unscripted. I used to work in radio. Uh, I used to pre prepare my show uh, back then. I'm an old guy. Uh, this is in the 90s. You know, we didn't have the internet. We did, but you know, it was like a, a DOS internet. Uh, if you know what DOS is, <laughs> that's a Microsoft product, and <laughs> it underlays Windows. It's still there. If you type CMD, and you're fine, and it'll bring up a command prompt. But anyway, they had a IRC internet relay chat and stuff like that. It just wasn't Windows like you know it today. Um, anyhow, I could go out and uh, get the news of the day, shootings, this, that, and everything else for you know the Poconos in Pennsylvania, and uh, you know research and have my notes. And that's what I went off of for my show. I tried to have enough content to get through my little four-hour stint. I might, yeah, I just talk up and talk about random stuff. It's just how I am. And uh, made for a good show. Maybe one day I'll put some uh, some of my air check checks in the in these videos so you can hear me when I was a 
young radio guy. <clears throat> I liked radio. But anyhow, I don't think I'm gonna script anything. Uh, I might on some things. I, I probably need to get some ideas. And uh, if there's anything that you want to learn about or hear about uh, with Old Dominion, after this video, it's gonna be pretty much my working with Estes uh, going forward. I'll give some comparisons until I run out of those comparisons uh, up until that point. Because, you know, at a certain point, things are going to be maybe a little bit different at Old Dominion. Probably not, because the three years I was there, everything stayed the same. Why change something that's not broke, right? So, um, they're not broken. It just doesn't work for everybody. So, I'm at 11 minutes here. I'm gonna try to make my uh, videos uh, less than 15 minutes, and maybe one day I'll go live. I like to hook up with uh, Freight Hauler 87. It's uh, Chris over there. He works out of the Little Rock Terminal. I'll be working out at the Knoxville Terminal. Eventually, we're supposed to get together and do a, a live together. Hey, you can talk to me about Old Dominion and stuff. Uh, my next video, I'll get into the salary at Old Dominion what I started at and what I left with. I don't know what the new guys are coming in with, but I'm pretty sure it's probably two cents below what the top out pay is, because that's how it was when I went there. So for now, you, you all have a great day. I'm going into Estes for my first day. Gotta be there at nine o'clock. I'm making good time. I'll be early on my first day. <laughs> Can't promise you that any other day. No, I'm try to be on time all the time. I usually am. You have a great day. Uh, I'll do a video on the way back home and give you some information on my first day at Estes. Take it easy.